This video covers DNA profiling, sometimes referred to as DNA fingerprinting, and it's geared towards the Irish Leaving Cert. DNA profiling is using a person's DNA to create a unique pattern for analysis. So you're going to create this unique pattern that can be used to identify that individual and that pattern was made using the person's DNA. DNA profiling is only possible because our DNA is very slightly different from person to person. So the only people who wouldn't have those differences would be identical twins. So there is this tiny difference and it's that difference that is used in genetic profiling. For your exams, just make sure you can describe what a DNA profile is and then the steps involved in creating a DNA profile. Step number one is just release the DNA from the sample and this will be done in the same way as you extracted DNA from your onion or your kiwi cells in the lab. Step number two is the DNA is cut into fragments using restriction enzymes. Step number three, the fragments are separated on the basis of size and this usually involves a technique known as gel electrophoresis where DNA is loaded into this gel, an electric current passes through it and the smallest fragments move fastest through the gel and so get separated out on the basis of size. So the final step is step four where the fragments are used to create a unique pattern which can then be analysed or compared with another. And originally when DNA profiling first came out the pattern was an x-ray because the fragments were labelled with radioactive probes. Things have moved on greatly now and there are fluorescent tags and the whole process has changed. There's new techniques involved. So there's PCR, there's DNA sequencing. You don't need to know that for your exams. Just know that a unique pattern was created. So to summarise, the DNA was released from the cells, it was cut into fragments using those restriction enzymes, those fragments were separated on the basis of size and a unique pattern was created for analysis. DNA profiling is used extensively in forensic science where DNA samples found at crime scenes are used to create genetic profiles which can then be analysed or compared to see if they match with particular suspects. It's also used in medical issues, for example, for determining paternity. So that was DNA profiling. Make sure you can give a detailed description of what it is and outline the steps involved in the process. And make sure you know how to read a DNA profile, compare the bands. And if they are similar, well then it is from the same person. As always, you must use your textbook and you must be doing past papers. Best of luck.